Hallelujah. Amen. We look at the law of harvest and we started by saying that over the universe there are various laws. We have the law of gravity in operation. We have the law of housekeeping. We have, when you go into mathematics, we have various laws. Yes. We have, in physics, we have Newton's law. We have law of, in Newton's law of inertia. We have all kinds of laws. When you come into the house of God, we have laws and principles. Amen. Amen. You cannot plant papaya and reap rice. It's, it, it, can, it can be. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I said that the law of harvest doesn't actually mean only being putting money into the house of God. Your own life. That's right. What you do with your life will bring a result. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, when you plant love, you receive love. Amen. When you plant hatred, you receive hatred. Everything, every negative thing that you do will backfire. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Who backfire? The Americans have a saying. They say, "What goes around comes around." Amen. Don't play with it. It's a principle. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And we said we look at some of the things that we can sow. We said you can sow good behavior or bad conduct, and we look at humility and pride. And I said, always when you are putting up an attitude, remember, there's always something waiting for you. Six feet. Jesus. It doesn't matter who you are. There is six feet waiting. <laughs> so why don't you humble yourself? Yes. Why don't you open your heart and love people? Amen. Amen. How can they know that you are children of God? We say, unless you love each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we also look at sowing mercy or help or hatred. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I want us to proceed. I also said, we need to think right because when you think negative, you read negative. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we look at Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 talks about things, think about things that are true, things that are honest, things that are just, things that are pure, things that are lovely. Hallelujah. And I don't want to go any further when you go home, read it. And then we look at the basic principles of sowing and reaping. We said without soil, you cannot sow. And you can sow in every soil. You can take your seed to the seaside and plant it in the uh, sea sand. Will it grow? No. no. There are soils good for planting. And uh, we also said that It's, it is not every season, it is not every season that qualifies for sowing. In America, you can sow in the cold time or as, as winter time. Hallelujah. And in the tropical land, if it's not raining, can you plant? No, when the sun it is sunny and the ground is hard, you cannot plant. So you have to check the seasons. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Farmers back home, as soon as they see the first rain, they start preparing their ground. Hallelujah. Amen. So there are seasons for sowing. That was some time ago I said, don't let anybody confess you to give if inside of you you are not willing. Because God will not take that. He said, out of a willing heart. Hallelujah. If somebody comes and tell you, give, 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 and inside of you, your heart is not in consonant with what the person is saying, please hold back your money because you are going to attract hairs. Don't give to God grieving. Give to God out of a willing heart. Amen. Even if it is a pain. Yes. Amen. Don't let people who hurt you. A prophet will come. Do the if the prophet is an, a, inside here, you are not convinced. Please hold on. Take back your mind. Let God convict you. Then, even if you go, you take the money away, and God convicts you to bring back the money. Bring it later. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But don't give gradually. Yes. Amen. It will not attract any blessing. Amen. Don't spoil your seed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Giving out of grudge or grievance. Is anger is falling your seed. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I also said you can reap what others have sown. You can reap what others have sown. You are a Christian today because of the prayers of your mother or your father right. or your grandmother. That's right. They pray. For you to be saved. They planted the seed of what? Prayer. Yes. yes. Amen. That's why you are sitting here today. Mm. Sister Andre's father prayed for her. Amen. Because the father was a minister. Yeah. Yes. Pray for her to stay in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I know that it's not everybody who come, who come from a Christian home. But God has prepared you. For this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, it is not only money that you can sow. It's true, that's true. You sow your thoughts. Yes. The Bible says, what a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. Yes. If you plant hatred, you will get back hatred. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Jesus. Praise you. Somebody will hate you for nothing. <laughs> but let me tell you, I was reading something uh, during the week, my um, devotion, my, my devotional uh, work was telling me that those that think evil about you, God will send them into a place of confusion. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Those who hate you as a child of God, mm -hmm. just as God said to the Israelites, mm -hmm. look behind you. Yes. Those you see today, yes. you will not see tomorrow. Yes. If God is crying to the children of Israel, He is declaring it to you today. Yes. If they plant seed of evil, yes. they will get evil. Yes, amen. Amen. Fear not. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Fear not. Glory In the Bible, it said, Fear not have been said in the Bible about 300 or something time. That is, God wants you to. And to be confident in Him. Yes. 
Amen. It doesn't matter no matter what you are going through. No matter what I'm going through. I'm somebody I've never get discouraged. Amen. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter if I have money or I don't have money. I don't care. I don't look at nobody. But I look at Jehovah God. The Bible says he is my supplier. My supplier. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This morning, Brother Mike said, The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. Because he's my shepherd, yeah. he knows where the grim pastors are. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. When it comes to the word of God, I'm so excited about the word of God. Because the Bible says he sent his word to hear me. Yes. He sent his word to hear me. Yes. Every yes. circumstance has been healed. Yes. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. others have sown. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the life of Abraham. Mm -hmm. It was Abraham that God sowed. It was Abraham that sowed to God. And after he was gone, his children continued Amen. to enjoy the fruits of their father's yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Let's plant good. Joy by your children. Yes. You will be God, but God will remember. Yes. I have a covenant yes. in this man. I have a covenant in your body. I have a covenant in your living. I have a covenant in my children. in there for you to yes. enjoy yes. now hallelujah Amen. and your children and your children's yes. children yes. hallelujah yes. every morning when my children are going to school I put my hand yes. on them yes. they yes. wear yes. over them yes. and then I put the oil of anointing over them Stepping into the road. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sister hey. Angela, let your son understand. Mm -hmm. Put oil on his head. Yes. And declare over his head. Hallelujah. No accident will be no caused. Yes. No yes. devil will touch his yes. head. Yes. 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 And brotherliness with David. Yes. And his son, the cripple, enjoyed the benefit of that friendship. That's right. Yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. will bring the harvest. Yes. yes. My God. Whatever you sow mm -hmm. into your friend's life, Thank you. mm -hmm. into the church, yes. God will reward you. You know, I said, over here in this church, we have never talked about money. No. Pastor, head pastor said, that is not what God laid on his heart. But I want to ask something. Your blessing is attached to your seed. Amen. The fact that pastor doesn't preach or I don't preach about money, doesn't stop you. 
for giving Amen. for the propagation of God's word. Amen. 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We don't want to coerce anybody, no. But remember one thing I'll say. Your seed will determine your harvest. Amen. Yes. I, I will come to that point. Now, another person is Saul's so sons, including Jonathan, harvested the fruits of the wickedness of Saul, their father. Uh, the first one, the friendship with uh, David, Second Samuel, chapter 21, verse 7, and then Saul, uh, his son's rape. You know, Jonathan died in the middle of a war, mm -hmm. in the middle of a battle. Yes. Because the father was determined to kill David. Amen. He that God blesses, Amen. no man can guess. Amen. He that, are you blessed of God? Amen. Nobody can bless you. Amen. When they put curse on you, it will back fire on them. And the kind of prayer we pray here, I will advise you, my brethren, don't ever talk about your fellow believer. That's true. Because we pray strong prayers here. Yes. When you go about talking about your fellow brother or sister, the prayer of that sister will be directed towards you. Yes. Because we say those who pronounce evil, those who talk about us, yes. this is what you have yes. and you are you don't remember? Please. Some of us our blessings are being blocked because we are talking about too much. Yes. Please. My Lord. Yes. If you don't have any good thing to say about the person, yes. 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 if you don't have any good thing to say about Brother Tony, Shut keep quiet. Yes. Amen. Preach, Pastor, preach. Keep quiet. Yes. Because you are taking back those cases. Yes. yes. My yes. God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if the person has done something evil, yeah. talk about the good side of him. Every human being has a good side yes. and a bad side. Yes. Yes. Look at the good side and talk about the good side Amen. and you develop more love for the person. Amen. But be, when you begin talking about the evil side of him, Lord. <laughs> you begin to create, uh, develop hatred for the person yes. and it's going to affect you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If a child becomes deformed because of his parents' contact, venereal diseases, that child has reaped what he never sown or knew nothing about. Hallelujah. Yes. Now let me give you another example there that I read somewhere. There was this young soldier when he was in the army. He went out and raped a young girl. He also gave her. He, he didn't know that he was going to give her. He gave her. And among them, there was a girl. Ten people raped her in his own age, when he couldn't do anything. Then people raped the daughter. So please, let us check what we plan. Mm -hmm. Let me hit on the men. I'm not going to hit on the women because I'm a man. Stop looking outside your marriage. Stop. Looking outside your marriage. Invest in your marriage. Because whatever you are sowing, mm -hmm. maybe not you, but it will affect your children. Amen. Mm -hmm. Today, some of us are suffering because of what our great great grandfathers and fathers did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's true. So true. Please. 
We want to see the glory of God. We want to see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Why are they so good and reap bad fruits? But what should Saturday happen? Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 12, verse uh, 13. It says, They have sown wheat, but shall reap bones. That's God saying. They have put themselves to pay, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. When God is angry with a person, whatever he does will be an abomination before God. That's true. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8 says, The sacrifice of the wicked is what? It's an abomination. That's how I said, Don't let God be angry with you. Hallelujah. Sowing and reaping. The principles of sowing and reaping. You hate your husband, let that to the women. You think you love your husband so much. Every little mistake, you backlash your husband. No. Are you pushing your husband away? You are sowing bitterness in the heart of the man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't push your husband away. When your husband makes a mistake, take your time. Too many mistakes. When you use force, men have ego. Just be patient. Like my wife. <laughs> like my wife. She will use all the tricks she knows. Just calm. And you have to tell the truth. Don't coerce the mind. And men, love your wife. Because as you plant love, they begin to love. You see, you know what God said, men should love their wife. It is very difficult for men to love. Women, it is very easy for them to love. Sure. But obedience is very difficult for them. Yes. <laughs> it is very difficult for women to obey or to submit. Submission is very difficult for women. Yes. So God said, women, Submit to your husband. And say, man, love your, your wife. Wife. Yep. Now, please, man, I'm a man. I love my wife so much. Amen. There's no woman like my wife. Amen. No Amen. matter where we are. Yes. God gave her to me mysteriously. Amen. We have never met anywhere before. Oh, and when we met, I asked God, God said, This is your wife. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before then, I had been in a relationship, somebody I was going to marry. And uh, we were dating, and God revealed something to me. I confronted her. She said it, it wasn't true, but eventually that thing happened. Hallelujah. I've never discussed this thing with anybody except my wife. Hallelujah. Amen. We have prepared, we have bought all the engagement, we were getting ready for the wedding and everything. And God revealed this thing to me. There was a guy I used to go and minister with. He was in one of the universities in Ghana. We used to go to Methodist to preach. And then God revealed to me that it was like there was a relationship they were in. She was having a, a relationship with a, my, my, my fiancé. 
And uh, just a week after, a letter was sent to me, mistakenly sent to me. A mistaken letter? Yes. It was sent to you. It was yes. supposed to it was supposed to go to the girl. Yeah. And the boy's brother yes, delivered the letter to me. God revealed it. And God so when it. I, that evening, <laughs> the way, going for prayer, I gave the letter to the girl. She was sitting by me. Mm -hmm. So she started, do you want to read it? I said, somebody gave you a letter, why would I read it? So he, she started reading it aloud. And I said, oh, so what I said, you had a relationship with this guy long before I met you? Hey. He said, oh, no, when we were in high school, I said, okay, that was the beginning of the fall of that relationship. <laughs> and I stay out of a relationship praying for a real direction. Amen. And I tell you, I've never made a mistake about my wife. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When she is hungry, when she is hungry, I am there. Amen. And when she is angry, I calm down. Amen. When she, I am angry, she calms down. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have never been angry at each other. Amen. That's right. Whether we are poor or rich, yeah. we love each other. Yeah. Amen. Gentlemen, Love your wife. Yes. Amen. As the, as the, as Jesus loved the church. church. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let, me, let me write a half guess about one page. What is an abomination? I don't want to go, go and read uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. We talk about a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that is swift in running to do mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, he that sows his call among friends. These are abominations. Another reason why the harvest may, not, may be bad is when the seed itself is bad and it refuses all effort. To make it good because it doesn't want to be good. God planted such before. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter 5, 1 to, 50, 1 to 5. Now will I sing to my beloved, my well beloved, a song of my beloved, touching his vineyard. My beloved have a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. Verse 2. And it said, And he fenced it. And gathered out the stones thereof, and planted with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wise bread therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, between me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I look that it should bring forth graves, brought it forth wild graves. You may sow wind and reap where wind. Hosea chapter 8, verse 7. From a natural viewpoint, we should think that the volume of sea so should determine the volume of harvest. But in the certain circumstances, we have discovered that a little act of kindness or brutality may carry more gravity than the original act does. Your harvest Hallelujah. Does not depend on the volume of seeds you plant. Like I said, out of the kind heart, out of the willing heart, when you plant, you will see a result. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you explain the act of stealing by Achan? And the punishment that follows. 
We are getting close to the message today. Our little acts of kindness may bring us greater rewards than we might have expected. The woman who gave the widow's mind was much more acceptable than those who gave plenty money. Your little act of brutality, hatred, unfaithfulness could bring a greater problem and punishment, not to you alone, but to your ancestors, to those who are coming after you. I don't want my children to suffer. I don't want my children to go through pains. So I want to plant a good seed. I want to plant a good seed. One very last thing I want to say. When you are planting, be careful your children are watching. Amen. Amen. When you stay on the phone, shouting, your children are listening. Tomorrow you will hear them saying the same thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you sow, somebody should open First Corinthians chapter 9. That is the end. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. Can somebody read it for me? Only and progress. Have not we power to forbear working? Who goeth a warfare any time at his own charges? Who planted a vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? Say all these things as a man, or saith not the law of the same also. In the first Corinthians chapter 9, yes. verse 6. Which verse is which uh version is that? The King James Version? I yes. love the King James Version. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, if you sow sparingly, you will also be sparingly. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't cultivate a land like this and expect to win the whole room. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Amen. As we bring the curtains on this message. Second. Is, second. Then I mean, I, I'm sorry. Hold on. Yes, I mean. Sparingly, yes, shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With this, I bring the candles on our topic, the law of harvest, or the principle of sowing and reaping. I know that it is only old women with the uh, dementia or whatever, they can remember something of old. But with young men and women, we can remember something we have heard right now. So the last part of our message should ring in your mind. Sowing sparingly, you will read sparingly. So begin to trust God and sow bountifully. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Amen.